Okay, let's get started because time is short and we're talking about sexual morality here. Always a hot topic with all kinds of opinions and feelings about it. With most people ending up in the camp that says all consensual sex is morally good. Now, it's true that good things come from sex like emotional connection, oneness, pleasure, and life. But bad things also come from sex like abuse, rape, shame, and even death. So what makes these things good or bad? To answer that, we've got to dare to ask bigger questions. And those are these. What in the world do we mean by good and bad? How do we know what good and bad is? What's the standard? Fantastic question that lead me right where I want to go, straight down the rabbit hole of morality's reality, so we can come back up with the carrot of truth, whatever that means. Fact is, it's either true that there are such things as objective moral standards, duties, and obligations, or it's true that there are not such things. Now, if it's true that there are not such things, then nothing is ultimately wrong or right. Rape is no better or worse than helping an old lady across the street, and slavery is no better or worse than buying an ice cream cone. Now, if it's true that there are objective moral standards, duties, and obligations, then those things are, well, objective, which means they don't change because of a society's preference or a person's feeling or opinion. Now, hold on there, a hillbilly second. You talk so dang fast. I'm going to need some metaphors or similes or something similar so something certifiable or shareable, son. Okay, answer me this. If you prefer that 100 plus 50 equals 25, does that make it true? How about this one? If you feel that murdering your mother just for the kicks of it is morally right, does that make it so? No, is the answer to both of those. Because just like feelings and preferences don't change objective reality, they don't change objective morality either. Whoa, wait a second, you say. But math has a standard. Morality doesn't, right? Wrong. God is the standard. In fact, it's only because God exists that he's eternal and perfectly good that universal objective moral goodness exists. And because he loves us so much, he has revealed his nature and good standards in the Bible. Listen up. The rock, that's God. His work is perfect for all his ways are justice. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. God is not a man that he should lie, or a son of man that he should change his mind. You spoke with them from heaven and gave them right rules and true laws, good statutes and commandments. Keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord, which I am commanding you today for your good. Romans 7.12 sums it up like this. So the law is holy, and the commandment is holy and righteous and good. So the Bible clearly declares that God's work is perfect. He is just, holy, good, and cannot lie. So then whatever he says is right and for our good. So then the gazillion dollar question when it comes to the morality of sex is really, what does God say about sex? So drum roll, please. Stop. Hammer time. I'm sorry. Genesis 1:27 through 28. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Pretty plain, people. God's clear intent for sex is one man with one woman and one marriage becoming one flesh for one life. So then, any kind of sex outside of those boundaries is not right and cannot be for your good. Now, we get it. Lots of people are on the make me feel good quest instead of the tell me the truth quest. So undoubtedly, some watching this will call us haters or phobes of some kind in hopes to shut us up. But real love will not, dare I say, cannot shut up about truth or pat someone on the back and tell them that whatever they do, even if it clearly violates God's principles, is okay. All this to say that this notion that all consensual sex is morally good or just a matter of preference or feelings or opinions has been debunked. Adios. This video was fully funded by a generous donation. To keep debunked videos free, please consider a tax-deductible donation or reach out to us to sponsor a video.